Zoom integration for WooCommerce and bookings and specifically we're looking at booking resources and how we can assign host ID to a booking resource. So this video won't cover every detail about uh, how to use Zoom integration for WooCommerce and bookings. So basically, I'll give you a brief intro first. So Zoom integration for WooCommerce and bookings is add-on for video conferencing with Zoom and WooCommerce bookings. So it requires both of these plugins before it can be used. So that's the basics, right? So I won't be covering how to create a bookable product, etc. in this video. So I'm just going to be covering the basics about how to create a booking resource. So WooCommerce bookings provides us with what's called resources that can be added to a product. So let's check that out. So I've already added two products, two resources, Dr. Zondo and Dr. Zendo, right? So let's add a new resource. Okay, so my resource name is going to be Dr. Jonathan Ross, right? Okay, and this resource is going to be from available from Tuesday to Friday. Ah, sorry this resource is not going to be available on the weekends okay. just to make it simple okay so let me add a new product now new bookable product that is so i'm gonna i'm gonna name it doctor's appointment all right so this is going to be a bookable product and I'm going to mark it as as resources. So for a Zoom meeting to be created, the uh, booking duration can't be in days. So I'll change that hours. So hourly. Okay. I'm going to enable Zoom. This is necessary. It won't work if you have don't enable Zoom. And so this is the default host. So if uh, nothing else is selected, the default host will always show. And I can go to resources. So choose your doctor. And I'm going to link it to my uh, created resource, right? So Dr. Jonathan Ross, you can uh, add more additional cost if you need it. But nothing fancy now so I'm going to add Dr. John Ross and Dr. John Doe okay so all right and that's it we're done here uh, I'm going I'm going to leave the prices as it is for now so this will be a free price free product so let's check it out all right okay so now as you can see the availability of dates changes and i have different hosts assigned to each of these right so for jonathan ross if i go here and say is this a zoom resource yes so i'm going to check this box and assign them with a host Okay, so let's change it, make it dif a different host. Okay. So default host for this product. Is the code minus account and I'm you I've assigned this Jonathan Ross with a different account. Okay, so let's go to the product now and let's check it out. Okay, so my doctor is selected as Jonathan Ross and I'm going to check the date as 10 a.m. Okay, 10 a.m. for the 6th of November. 
check out. Fill in the details, place order. And I can see the join via app button over here. So I, it seems I had multiple uh, multiple items in the card flow, so I'm going to use it. Uh, booking doctor's doctor's appointment join via app. So if I go to the dashboard, bookings, I can see uh, doctor's appointment, Doctor Johnson Ross, right? So I can see the start link is here as well, but if I go to Zoom and live meetings and select the correct host, uh, booking session for doctor's appointment 1329 has been created. So that's basically the utilization of the bookable resources. I hope this video is helpful. If not, you can always reach out to us via the various support forums and contact us. Thank you.